Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and I'm really excited to have you here. Today I'm going to be building the house from the book Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Um, I am going to be specifically building the house that Ellie was kept in. Spoiler alert, you already know spoilers in this video. I'm so sorry if you didn't read the title. I apologize. Um, we are specifically going to be building that apartment building, loft building. They described it as a house, like connected to other houses. So that's what we're going for. Um, I'm kind of just copying a house that I see on Google when I search like London lofts because they lived in London. Um, in this book, we follow Laurel. Laurel is on the hunt for her missing daughter. Her daughter went missing and there hasn't been a trace of her since the book kind of starts out with them finding like last remnants of what could be ellie and she's really stuck because she has no idea whatever happened to ellie she's trying to move on and she meets a new man starts dating him and she just slowly starts to find out really particular and strange things about this man leading to her realizing that he may have had something to do with ellie's disappearance or he may have known something about her disappearance and he might have known what happened to her so it's a really good book i really recommend it i read it at five out of five lisa jewel never fails to impress me so we are going to be filming the house that ellie was kept in and i really hope you guys enjoy it if you do please like and subscribe and i will see you on the flip side
All right, this is me catching you on the flip side. Here is an overview of the house. I try to make it a little drab because she does say in the book she's very, very poor. So we did a little teeny tiny kitchen in the front with two seated table. I tried to use everything that you could possibly find at like a thrift shop because she talks a lot in the book about how she goes to the Red Cross to buy things. Um, bathroom, pretty simple. I tried to use a lot of used things or things that look semi-dirty. Um, living room, very basic, very cheap, very drab. All right, we are heading into the baby's room. Um, look around in the book. It says that she has pink sheep on the walls, but unfortunately that was not a wallpaper option in the sim, so we chose flowers. We tried to do a lot of pink, um, a lot of really girly baby stuff. They said it was kind of like untouched so things were getting a little icky so I tried to add that in a tiny bit with like some more like damaged material into mom's room they said mom's room was cluttered so I did my best to make it cluttered but I mean there's not very many things on there to make it cluttered so again I just tried to get a bunch of stuff and shoved it in there there is the balcony to look outside and then the bed and then all like the clutter Now into the attic. The attic, I just kind of threw a bunch of stuff up there like you would throw in the attic. So just old stuff, boxes, furniture, things like that. And then into the basement. This is where Ellie was kept. So we have the TV room with the TV. We have the hamster wall. If you're looking for those hamster cages, they're actually a mod that I will link below. And then finally the room Ellie was kept in in the back. That is going to wrap this video up. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos from me. And I will see you guys later. Bye.